Given the sequence a sub n equals four raised to the power of n divided by five raised to the power of n, we want to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, and then determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if it converges, determine the value it converges to. So looking at our formula for a sub n, notice how both the numerator and denominator are being raised to the power of n, so if it's helpful, we could write this as a sub n equals four-fifths raised to the power of n. In this form, we may recognize that we have a geometric sequence where r, the common ratio, is less than one. Now let's review the definition of a bounded and unbounded sequence. A sequence is bounded if it has an upper and a lower bound. All of the terms of a bounded sequence are between or equal to the upper and lower bounds. So it is possible for a sequence to be bounded above or bounded below, but in order for it to be bounded, it does have to have both an upper bound, which in this case would be A, and a lower bound, which would be B. Notice all the values of both of these sequences are less than or equal to A and greater than or equal to B. If it doesn't have both of these, we would have to say that it is unbounded. So going back to our sequence, notice how the first term of the sequence when n is equal to one would be a sub one equals four-fifths to the first, or just four-fifths. And then to find the second term, a sub two, we multiply by another factor of four-fifths, giving us sixteen twenty-fifths. So notice how four-fifths would be the largest value of the sequence, and then from there, if we multiply by four-fifths, it's going to decrease and approach zero. And therefore, the sequence is bounded above by four-fifths and bounded below by zero. A nice way to visualize this is to graph the sequence, which I've done here. And again, notice how all the values are less than or equal to four-fifths or point eight, which would be the upper bound and then the values of each term approach the value of zero, so it's bounded below by zero. So because it has an upper and lower bound, we say the sequence is bounded. Now I'll also review the definition of a monotonic sequence. A monotonically increasing sequence is a sequence in which each term is greater than or equal to the previous term. Notice here both the red and blue sequences because each successive term is greater than or equal to the previous term. And the sequence is monotonically decreasing if each term is less than or equal to the previous term and here are two monotonically decreasing sequences. So if a sequence is monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing, we say we have a monotonic sequence. So going back to our example, because we're multiplying by another factor of four-fifths, each time n increases by one, the values are getting smaller and smaller, and therefore our sequence is monotonically decreasing, and therefore we have a monotonic sequence. And again, looking at the graph of our sequence, it's very easy to see that each term is decreasing in value. So we do have a monotonic sequence. And now we'll determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if it converges, determine the value it converges to. Now there is a theorem that says, if we have a sequence that is bounded and monotonic, it will converge. But more formally, if a sub n equals f of n, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, then a sub n converges to l. So sequences that have limits converge, and sequences that do not have limits diverge. Notice our sequence resembles the function f of x equals, let's use the original form of four to the x divided by five to the x. So if we take the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x, which is four to the x divided by five to the x, notice how as x increases, our denominator increases faster than the numerator. Whenever we have this case, the fraction is going to approach zero, and therefore this limit is equal to zero. 
So because this limit exists and it's equal to zero, we can say the limit as n approaches infinity of our sequence four to the n divided by five to the n equals zero. So we can say the sequence converges and it converges to zero. So we have a bounded sequence, we have a monotonic sequence, and we have a sequence that converges to zero. I hope you found this helpful.